Hey, welcome back to another hunting video. Gonna get back in the field with you guys, starting off fresh. So here we got the the hunter, call of the wild. Good game, man. So we starting fresh. All the data been messed up, so we starting a new one and. We gonna be on a mission down in the Great Mississippi. And there's the state line. Welcome to the Deep South, rookie. We've got wetlands, the blues, and the American story. Not to mention some of the best hunting you'll find anywhere on this earth. But the floods this year have been worse than ever, and our community is at its breaking point. Camp Haven, the summer camp we worked so hard to open last year, is under threat. If there's one thing I've learned living here, it's that Mississippi Acres folk are resilient. We don't need a savior, just a little extra help. And that's where you come in. Looks like the end of the road. I'm so sorry, but I've actually got to run. I've got a pile of papers I need to grade. I'll call you as soon as I've got a signal. Promise. Down in the dirty. Down in the dirty, fell. Old Mississippi Acres Preserve, Hunting Reserve. Out there in the outdoor outbacks, man. On an adventure. There, finally. I had to add actual cell service to the list of things I miss about Chicago. Sorry that I'm so short on Southern hospitality right now, but we've got a bit of a situation. Steve Ernie from our Flood Relief Committee was out delivering supplies to elders who couldn't evacuate on time. The levee overtopped and his trunk got totally submerged. Everything scattered. He got away safe, but we don't have the funds to let anything go to waste. Can you go take a look? The water should have mostly receded by now. I'll mark the location on your hunter mate. Thank you. You're welcome. So... You already know we had to jump on and see about this Mississippi hunting environment, man. This game allows, allows, allows me to get some, some of these great experiences going in. We down here in the wetlands. We're going to walk through, this, through these missions and see what kind of wild game we can spot. We out. See if we can get some trophies under our belt, you dig? And on this new Mississippi map, they have a few new species of animals. Shout out to the team keeping the different species coming in this holiday. And it's called the Wild Adventures. Before we move forward, if you guys like hunting, feel free to subscribe. And if you may sprinkle us with a, you know, with a like, click that like button. That will bring much luck to you, my friend. So, oh boy, I can't wait to get deep down in this mud, boy. Down here in the swamps. You ever heard of the swamp thing, G? Yeah, you remember that stuff back in the day, the swamp thing? It's kind of just where he come from. <laughs> yeah, they got the, they got new species. They got the great alligator, great American alligator lurking around in the murky rivers down here, in the marshes and the swamp lands. You gotta be on point when you're around here. It's, it's kind of hard to see most of the time. So you really you just gotta have your ears on, man. Keep your ears perked up. Then they also got the new common raccoon, so if you like coon hunting, and you can't really just get out in the woods like you really want to, you still in luck. You can get your copy of this Call of the Wild and a few of them did, uh, a few of the DLCs that they offer. Just to kind of match up with your gameplay. And experience some of this great old hunting out here on some of these reserves. It's basically based on the real maps and the real places. Put us on some of this, uh, on our scent protector. So these animals, they keen since the smell won't get alert. You can't alert them. They also got the legendary gray fox, the northern bob white quail. One is at the same bird that calls out Bob White. <laughs> it probably is probably something else in my mind somewhere. They, they've added the eastern cottontail. The Eastern Turkey, 
So we're on the eastern side of the Mississippi. I believe that's what they say. And, I, and my wish has been granted. They add the Pharaoh Hall to an American map. As always, playing on different maps than American, so. So we're going to have us some fun, man, with these wild hogs on this Mississippi Acres. I'm looking for diamonds and gold, G. They got nice, they got some nice black bears. It's in a, in a lot, in a hefty herd of white-tailed deer roaming around. So make sure you sub, then your notifications are on, so you can catch these videos when we're down here hunting in the great Mississippi. Trying to see if any great foxes out there lurking. But yeah, shout out to the viewers, to, to the creators, the helpers of the creators, and all the people behind the scenes, man, helping people put this stuff to together. So we're making our way over to the watchtower. Open up some places on the map so as we keep keep on the path to our mission, we can also explore the lands, the areas, see if there are any uh, need zones, rest zones, drinking zones, uh, spot animals maybe when you can double back, you know, just kind of. You know, spicing things up as we try to complete missions moving forward. But yeah, I'm glad to be a part of something that changes the lives of the people for the better, man. You know what I'm saying? Learning hunting tactics can can put food on the table, fulfill a passion to hang out. You know what I'm saying? Just in the outdoors as well as uh, bag you a nice nice buck or something with a rack on it to hang off in your living room or uh you know, just stuff you a nice trophy animal, put them in your lodge, you know what I'm saying? Hunting is a fantastic sport that has always been growing year after year. So I think this, they did a very great job on this Mississippi, on this Mississippi preserves. Mm -hmm. And you see, these hunting reserves help preserve and protect wildlife that may, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the worst part, become extinct or annihilated due to overhunting, you know what I'm saying. If they weren't protected by the parks and the reserves, you never know what would be happening. But it's all good works, you know what I'm saying. They're going to, doing a good deed for, for nature. So this is this is how the down off in the off in the bottom down in the Mississippi. This is how that stuff look. Swamp lands and just You're almost there. You starting to get goosebumps or is it just me? The Delta's a weird place. He said he got stuck somewhere over there by those cypress knees. Bingo. Those are the supplies. So I guess somebody, you know what I'm saying, part of the club and came down here and dropped something. So you know, we, we, we come to say today, man, we problem solvers down. Anywhere we at, we gonna be trying to say today. Even though, you know what I'm saying, we ain't, <laughs> we probably, y'all probably, you know what I'm saying, got a better chance, but you know, hey, it's, it's all about the drive and the heart. Thanks, this is doing us a huge favor. Hey, um, are the shadows playing tricks, or is that a briefcase I'm seeing on my feed? Let me, yes. let me make a quick call. Show look like something over there. Hey, Mrs. Tackett. Our briefcase get up in the tree. out where Steve dropped the flood supplies, and there's a briefcase hanging from a tree branch. You know if that's... Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Give me just a sec. She wants to talk to you. Well, Miss Davis has got you out on a fine excursion this time of night. Betty Tackett here, chairwoman of the Mississippi Delta Big Game <laughs> Club. I hate to ask, sugar.
sugar, but can you grab the briefcase? Steve's a little ornery, and he'll pitch a fit if he don't get his papers back. You'll have to... Well, nothing to it. Steve's a little ornery. <laughs> I got this southern type. You know, she's white and black. Really don't matter, but you... You know that southern's twist. So I think we gotta... Make it clap one time. You are phenomenal. What happened to that rookie kid I got my hunting license with who couldn't hit a broadside shot on a stationary target? <laughs> Loud and clear. I'm going to extend you an invite if you keep that up. I'm down for the count since I broke my neck, but <laughs> Steve will get you an application. Hell, he owes you. Let's... Let's take that later, why don't we? We gotta let you go, Mrs. Taggett. All the best now. Don't be a stranger, y'all. <laughs> Betty's lovely, but she's as southern as all get out, as they say in these parts, with everything that entails. Any markings on that briefcase? Not that I don't believe it's Steve's, it's just... I don't see anything suspicious. Let's get those supplies to the people who need them. So we got us about a grand. Next, what they say, There's hill or hot water. From here, can you swing by and drop the briefcase and supplies off there? Maybe get your breath back too. So we on to the next mission as we explore and move forward. It's getting dark, so it's just going to be harder to see. Hope we run into some. But yeah, so if you're preparing for a hunting trip, make sure you prepare to take videos and pics, you know what I'm saying, of your trophies. Or just, you know what I'm saying, things that you see. You know, memories are great to look back on. Most important, you need to make sure you got a good budget, cut costs. You know what I'm saying? As well as make sure you have sturdy equipment and reliable when you're out here in the field, man. You always want to be as safe as possible. Make sure you study your area. Leave markings and tags so you can remember where you where you were where you, and where you have been to, pre pre to prevent yourself from being lost or confused. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the last thing you want when you're out here trying to enjoy yourself and you, you get lost and all type. <laughs> You know, you just turn to get there to, you know, a little bad moment or something. But yeah, we starting this, we starting off fresh, man, from level zero. We, 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 have, we have other Call of, Call of the Wild videos from past, you know, trophy lodges from in our other games. But now, as, since we... Uh, plugged our PS4 back up. We still had the game, so we just basically got a couple few DLCs, got the uh, got the dog, and then we just uh, got the Mississippi map. So we're just going to focus on the Mississippi map and just explore that, try to learn it down to the T, find all the need zones, the diamonds and the gold, different species, you know what I'm saying? They got a lot of species that we're going to mostly try to focus, you know what I'm saying, on, on which one is going to be the cash cows. Seems like the raccoons, they pay a look they don't really pay too much. The pigs, they got a lot of white tails and the birds, you know what I mean? So, in my opinion, just looking forward to some of these Mississippi trophies. We've been we've been having a lot of you know, some tracks and hearing some calls. It's kinda dark though. But I believe we're gonna have some better hunting moving forward. This first video, we just gonna we just completed, you know, the first missions, intro to the to the Mississippi map. This uh, DLC just dropped, so it's still fresh on the map. A lot of people out there, Lady Legend, you know, she always go hard with all the info, the news, all the different, you know, everything you need to know. You just go over there to her, her and find it, and get back here in the field and put it together.
basically just move forward, explore areas, you know what I'm saying, try to look for uh, outposts so we can keep our, you know, we can fast travel back and forth, get the outposts so we can discover new plots and new, new things. And you always got to pay attention to, <clears throat> excuse me, to your uh, stands, wherever a stand is. But yeah, just to, just on those safety tips, you know, always be prepared. You know, hunting is one of my favorite sports. It's very life-changing and relaxing. And I hope you guys enjoy. And stay tuned for further hunting content coming this way. Out of the Mississippi Acres. But yeah, another tip is that I used to try to run all through the fields and something, but I did, I I learned that we got a call. Oh, we got a gray fox out there. It's gonna be kind of hard to see him because it's kind of, this map is kind of challenging, but it's it's good. Like even though you can't see them, they it's the animals they really can't see you neither. So the better stealth you got, the better you can get up on them. Throw out a call and see can we bring them in. But yeah, if you mostly just stay, you know, pay attention to where your stands are in the need zones and just kind of pay attention to the times and the animals, are, they'll come to those, back and forth to those need zones, specifically water the most. So running through the fields, making noise, this really ain't, it wouldn't be a good idea unless you just got a tree stand set up somewhere out there and you make it to your tree stand. But the, the uh, stands in a different, you know, everything is uh, correlated to, to go together. So you just got to pay attention and follow through on your stands and the past that the mission leads it leads you and uh, different things like that. Because them diamonds are near those stands in those need zones. I've had some great trophies over the past, so you can check out, I'll leave a video where you can check out the trophy, the trophy lodges of some of my past adventures, Layton Lakes, Hirsch Fields, Tamor, just different, different DLC maps, and we was really going hard in our, oh, look at that, we got a common raccoon warning us, it's going to be hard to see. This map uh, make you pat yourself on the back if you can come out with some with some nice animals on this one, cause you gotta be very stealthy. Even though you got advantage from the from the vision and stuff, you know they can you know it's, they can kind of hear you. So so different tree stands, you might set you up some tents, boom boom boom, bust your spots off, and come back to them. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you do rounds and loops, cause he coming in. But I don't, he hears. So they got the gray fox look. He looking, he looking nice. And the wind really ain't in our favor. So that's another thing. You always got to pay attention to the wind. You see what I'm saying? In real life, people don't really... The reason that they really don't be successful a lot of times on their hunts is because they 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 forget about that scent part. You know what I'm saying? Them animals can smell you way before you even get there. At the, so you are already at a disadvantage if you ain't really just too skillful in your hunting tactics. The mal trophy earned. It's a full, you know, I don't know if that's a full moon, but. Yeah, so we started fresh. We're going to be getting getting a few trophies as we move along. Trophies we already had got, but not not in this recent game. So it's going to be exciting getting these trophies again as well. Eastern Cottontail, somewhere around. I'm 
on this video. Night is falling on us, so we, you know, we ain't, we really just ain't got all the equipment and the tools to be hunting at night. But we just gonna try to see. We ain't gonna give up. We close by our our, uh, our outpost, so we may think this fox is around here, but it's so hard to kind of see where he is right now without spooking anyone. And it's a lot of raccoons in the area, so if you guys want to just focus on coons, they got that 22L22 rifle. That's that's a good all a good all around rifle, and you'll get good integrity, and you know you'll get all three hundred percent. I think it's you can you you got a you got a good chance of getting a diamond raccoon around. Okay, yeah, so we finally spotted some old, we finally spotted their rest zone, wild hog. This is going to be a lot of wild hogs around here, too. So we got to be, can we sneak up on them? See, it's raining, and you know that they can't, okay, we got level four. So we, it might be a goal. So our first day out, we spotted some hogs. They look like some little. Some spotted. Hey, little hotels wagging, eh? Hey, resting. I hate to spoil the day, spoil the night. So we got the legendary 243 right here. Look like it's nice coats on them. That level four, that's what that's what we're looking for. looking for that level four right there. We don't really want to spook you, we just try to take a chance on getting right here. Look at him. So right at the end. I think he got to choke his nerves or still. I was, see, starting out my, my uh, you know, my perks and all that's different. You know, you, you, you win and set so. He was in for a long time. So we got our first board. Go, 111, dark brown, leveled up. That's, so that's what's up, that's what's up. So we got a trophy. So we're gonna uh, finish this off right here with a trophy gold hog, gold member status. And we're gonna get back with you guys on the next one.